The equation of a circle doesn't come up very often on the SAT, but when it does, you kind of need to know the formatting of that equation. So in this case, there's a couple ways to handle it. We could do a much more kind of formulaic approach. And if you do that, hopefully, if you know the formula for a circle, you'll be able to see that A and B are wrong. So let me just explain why the, the main reason here is that the formula of a circle is going to be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where hk is the center and the r is the radius. So if we look at this, they're telling us two points, but neither of these points is the center. They're both points that are on the diameter of a circle. So basically, they're points that would be like here and here, not the point in the center. So the reason that's important is that both choices A and B make it seem like those points at the center, they're kind of plugging them in into H and K spots, but that's not what they're saying. They're just not giving us the center. We sometimes get that and then we can plug it in, but that's not what's happening here. Instead, because we're given points that are on the circle itself, we have the ability to use the plug points into equations strategy to solve for the real, the real answer. We can take either of these points, plug them into x and y, see what happens, and that's going to tell us whether or not the circle equations in C and D include the point that we're given in uh, the question itself. So I'm going to do the, the easiest point here, the one without the negatives. So 5, 3. So what's going to happen? Well, luckily for C and D, the first half is the same, right? 5 is the x, so 5 squared plus 3 squared is what? Well, if it's 68, then choice C is the answer. If it's 34, then choice D is the answer. And so 25 plus 9 is 34, so that means choice D is the answer, and that's it. So we could have done something here where we use the two endpoints to find the radius and then use that in the circle, but honestly, this is just easier. Plug points into equations is a really great strategy. It works in so many different kinds of equations, so many different kinds of places. The one exception is that normally plugging the center of a circle into the x and y's doesn't really work the way we would expect. Instead, the center gets plugged into the h and k. But whenever we have endpoints, points that are on the outside of the circle itself, those can be plugged into the circle equation and produce a valid result.